I'm just about to talk you through how you can do a 360 virtual tour using the Inventory Hive app. Uh, so as you can see on my right hand side, there is a screen recording of my phone, what my phone is doing. And here I've got a 360 camera on a tripod. Uh, so the first thing I need to do when creating my tour is go to the tour itself via the app. And then I need to add myself uh, some areas. So in this case, I'm currently stood in the kitchen, but there's an entrance hallway just to my right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add those two areas in a logical way, in, in the way that you would if you walked into the property. So in this case, I'm going to add an entrance hallway and then I'm going to add a kitchen. Add that straight in and then hit done and it adds those two areas for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a 360 photo in each of these areas and then I'm going to add a hotspot. So when someone's viewing the tour, they know how to get from one space to another or how to allow the, the tour itself to have those hotspots where you press on them when you're on a phone or when you're on a computer and you click on them. So if I hit on entrance hallway, the next thing it allows me to do is to connect my 360 camera. It then encourages me to go offline and that's important because that allows me to create a Wi-Fi between uh, the Inventory Hive app and the camera. So I pop into the Wi-Fi settings. In this case, I've connected to this camera before, so it connects straight away. I don't need to re-add the password. And then from there, it takes me into the camera's gallery. So now my phone is displaying the photos that are on the gallery of the camera. So what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to move my 360 camera over into the entrance hallway. And then most importantly, I'm going to get myself out of the shot, out of the way, and then press the take photo button. That then takes the photo, makes a little beeping sound, and then it adds that photograph straight in to, in this case, the entrance hallway area, as you can see on the app. So then the next thing I do is just hit the green tick. I can then go in and set the 360 start position. The start position is where the photo is pointing when the reader is looking at the tour. So in this case, I'm gonna have it facing into the room and then choose the set position button in the bottom right corner. Then I'm gonna hit done. And there we have it, I've added my first 360 photo. I'm now gonna add another photo in this case of the kitchen. And again, I'm gonna move myself out of the way, so I'm not in the shot. Press the take a photo button again, and then it's taken another photograph, in this case, of the kitchen. So then I can take a third photo as well, if I wanted to, of another area, and so on, and go around the property and then bring all those images together. The next thing I might want to do is to add a hotspot. Now, it's up to you whether you add a hotspot via the app or whether you choose to just tag your images while you're at the property and maybe add the hotspots from your computer later on because you can do both of those things. I'm just going to very quickly show you how you can add a hotspot though. So in this case, if I wanted to link those two photos so the person viewing the tour taps on a, a, a hotspot that flashes and allows them to move from one area as though they get the sense that they're walking around the property. In this case, I'm going to choose an area link and I'm going to add that area link over towards the kitchen and then hit done. And then that is the bit that will allow the reader to then walk from one area to another within the tour. So literally within the space of a couple of minutes there, I've just ran through how you can uh, add two areas in this case. As you can see, it's very straightforward to add multiple areas and then add the photos as you go. And the beauty of this, of course, is that you're not having to then take your camera back home or back to the office and then trawl through the gallery of the camera to work out which image related to which room and then subsequently tag them because that is a real time killer. And obviously the Imagery Hive app is designed to make that process really straightforward. There's one final thing I'm going to show you and that is how you can also add a hotspot in this case, which might be a photograph. So if I wanted to take a photo and have a hotspot of a photo in my tour, so I don't know, let's just say I wanted to take a photo back at this point, I can choose where the hotspot goes and then I can access the camera on my device and then take a photo. It will then add that as a hotspot in that area of the plant. So the person reading the tour can then hit on that hotspot and then go straight to it. You wouldn't necessarily do it of a plant, but it might be good for, you know, if there was a, maybe a, an oven that was a high spec or you wanted to showcase something within the property. And then just literally hit done, and there we have it. I've added a hotspot of a photo, and then I've also added hotspots that allow me to link two 360s together. And uh, 
And that is as straightforward as it is to create a 360 virtual tour with the Imagery Hub app.